welcome to Allen Digital. Hope everybody is doing fine. Now today we will be learning about photosynthesis in higher plants. Before learning about this chapter, let us go back to a topic from the biological classification wherein we studied that R.H. Whittaker had divided organisms into five kingdom classification and there were many criteria for it and one of the criteria was the mode of nutrition on what basis of nutrition the organisms have been divided so there are two bases of nutrition one is autotrophic and the other one is heterotrophic you know that autotrophs are the organisms which are capable to synthesize their own food and heterotrophs depend on the others for their food so few of the examples of autotrophs are bacteria some of the bacteria certain protists and plants so today we will be learning about that process only the photosynthesis which is a part of autotrophic nutrition and animals and fungi show us heterotrophic nutrition so before beginning the photosynthesis chapter let us know about some of its concept the introductory points now you are aware that photosynthesis photo the term photo you can see we have a plant here which is trapping the solar energy light travels in discrete packages called photons so photosynthesis yes you have understood it right photo term has been taken from photons light energy the plant is absorbing water and mineral from the soil it is taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the presence of sunlight with chlorophyll pigment it is capable of synthesizing sugar what type of sugar it's a simple organic sugar that is glucose and in this entire process you can notice oxygen is released that oxygen is released as a by product oxygen is not the main product of the photosynthesis it is the by product so what is the main product of the photosynthesis it is simple organic sugar that is glucose so pay attention photosynthesis due to this entrapment of the solar energy photosynthesis is also called a physico chemical process physico there is entrapment of the physical energy which is the light energy and it is converted into the chemical form via the chemical process that's why it is called physico chemical process photosynthesis is also called photo biochemical process photo again the term photon has been taken from solar energy sunlight photons of the light photo inside a living organism bio biological entity the green parts of the plant they have a specialized structure called chloroplast which contain the chlorophyll pigment that chlorophyll pigment absorbs the photons of the light physical form of the solar energy and through a chemical process makes glucose so since there is involvement of a physical photons of the light photo inside the living organism bio chemical a chemical reaction is occurring inside the living cell hence photo bio chemical reaction so two terms we have learned here physico chemical and photo bio chemical reaction let us now move on to the another point of photosynthesis that it is also called an anabolic process anabolism means synthesis reaction the reaction wherein substances are synthesized you know that reactions can be of two types either there is making of a product or there is breakdown of a component during photosynthesis what are we making glucose so it's an anabolic process synthesizing reaction wherein two simpler molecules the inorganic molecules come together to form a simple organic sugar that is glucose so here we have co2 one of the organic form 
combining with a water, another inorganic form, in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, will form the main product that is the glucose. We have synthesis of glucose. That's why photosynthesis is called anabolic process. Photosynthesis is also called endergonic process. Now, as we are aware that if a reaction is occurring, there can be either entrapment of energy or release of energy. During photosynthesis, which form of energy is trapped? Solar energy, the physical form, it is trapped. Solar energy is utilized and then it's converted into the chemical form. Since there is utilization of solar energy, photosynthesis is called endergonic process. As you can see here, the physical form is the sunlight. It has been trapped by the chlorophyll pigment. So here we have solar energy, which is the physical form. And after entrapping this, it is being converted into glucose. So carbon dioxide, water will be converted into glucose and oxygen. Now the water which you see here is basically written to balance the equation. Why do we need to balance the equation? Let us learn about that now. Balancing the equation is one of the important concepts of the redox reaction. Photosynthesis is also called redox reaction. What do you mean by a redox reaction? Reactions wherein both oxidation and reduction occur. What is oxidation? Oxidation is loss of electron. Reduction is gain of electron. Now we might get confused with that. So I will give you a very simple term to remember that. Oil rig. Oil. Oxidation is loss of electron. Rig. Reduction is gain of electron. Now pay attention to this point here. Whenever I am saying oxidation is loss of electron, I also intend to say that a proton H plus ion is also released. Whenever I am saying gain of electron, a proton H plus ion is also gained. So whenever there is oxidation, there is a loss of electron as well as a loss of proton. Whenever there is a gain of electron, there is also a gain of proton. So that is our oxidation reduction together. Now you must be wondering, we in the photosynthesis process have studied that CO2 and water form glucose. Now among these two, CO2 and water, which is undergoing oxidation and which one is going to undergo reduction? Let us see that now. Now water here will be oxidized. It is losing H plus ions and electron. That means it will undergo oxidation. Water is split into H plus ion, electron to give the oxygen. And that occurs during the light reaction. Now let us try to understand this about water. Water H2O. It has a proton, it has an oxygen atom and it will also have an electron. It is losing an electron in H plus ion and forming oxygen. Now oxygen is released in the molecular form. So to get 6 molecules of oxygen, we need to have 12 molecules of water. So now it is proven that during photosynthesis, oxygen is lost by water, not by carbon dioxide. And 6H2O is written here to balance the equation. Now another point, during light reaction it occurs. The photosynthesis has been divided into dark phase and light phase. What is light phase? Light reaction, it is directly trapping the solar energy and converting it into ATP and NADPH. So that is called the light phase or light reaction. When the energy is trapped and converted into ATP and NADPH, 
that time water is also broken hence light reaction now let us move on to co2 now we know water undergoes oxidation so carbon dioxide will undergo reduction this h plus ion and electron lost will be gained by the co2 to get converted into glucose you see here co2 it is getting converted into c6 h12 o6 where is this h coming from from the h plus and electron lost by the water so this is the reduction of the carbon dioxide into glucose now this process occurs during the dark reaction or the dark phase now dark reaction does not actually mean that it is occurring at night what do we mean by a dark reaction it is ncert liner it's a misnomer it's a false name dark reaction why is it called so because it is directly not trapping the sunlight solar energy instead this reaction is dependent on the products of light reaction what are the products of light reaction atp and nadph since the co2 takes that from the light reaction to form the glucose there is no involvement of solar energy directly hence this process is called dark reaction now during this process one of the most abundant enzyme comes into picture which is rubisco that enzyme will help to convert co2 into simple organic sugar that is glucose so now on this basis let us solve few questions so so far you have understood why it is called physicochemical process why it is called photobiochemical process since there is synthesis of glucose it is called anabolic process since there is entrapment of the solar energy it is called endergonic process and it is called redox reaction because there is reduction of co2 into glucose and oxidation of water and during the process of photosynthesis oxygen is released not from co2 but from water let us move on to few of the questions now the first question here is photosynthesis is a process used by autotrophs to convert basically the question wants to state which form of energy will be converted into which another form chemical into light energy no we know that solar energy is converted into chemical form light energy into chemical energy true let us move on to other options also one form of chemical energy into another chemical form no first of all it is conversion of the physical solar energy into chemical form so this is also not true and the last one is one form of physical energy physical energy is true it is converted into another physical form no it is conversion of solar or physical energy into chemical form so our correct option is second light energy into chemical energy light energy means solar energy the next question here is during photosynthesis which component undergo reduction we have studied that photosynthesis is a redox reaction wherein water undergoes oxidation and co2 undergoes reduction so water no because it undergoes oxidation carbon dioxide yes oxygen no oxygen is a by product formed due to the oxidation of water both one and two no not at chance why because there is involvement of water for the reduction no so the correct answer here is carbon dioxide then here the third question is what type of process photosynthesis is we have learned that it is anabolic process it is endergonic process photobiochemical process physical chemical process it's a form of redox reaction so now let us look into the options anabolic process endergonic process physical chemical process so our answer is yes all of the 
above. That is it. So, now under the introduction of photosynthesis, we have learnt about various terminologies used instead of photosynthesis like physicochemical, photobiochemical, anabolic. We have learned that it is also called antagonic process and a type of redox reaction. Hope all the concepts are clear for you now. Thank you.